Today's video is um, brought to you by me, Candace, but it was, the topic was in consideration of Chelsea. She was asking me about education and passing the exam to get your loan originator license. So thanks Chelsea, I appreciate you reaching out to me and I'm excited to share with you my experience about how, how I obtained my license, how I trained for it, and my journey. So stay tuned guys. I took the three-day course, I actually went to IFREC, IFREC Real Estate Schools. Um, I'm actually in Florida. They might be all over. I would just double check with Google. And it was a great school. It was three days long. It was actually my birthday weekend. The class was taught by an older lady who was very wise. Um, you know, she was very honest. She taught us well. She left us in good shape. So I I was following a YouTuber who goes by Affinity Real Estate and Mortgage Training, and I'm going to link her below. Honestly, guys, her, like, videos, write some flash down, write some flashcards down of her information that she's teaching you, and that's a great way to memorize these textbooks rules. So, you know, at this position, you have to know all the rules. You can't be taking it lightly. You got to know the rules if you want to do this. They're going to give you a textbook, so study that whenever you can, and then just be confident. That's the number one thing. Confidence is key. Wear your lucky socks during your test day. My lucky socks actually work for me, and if you don't believe me, I'll show them. Comment below if you don't believe me, but my lucky socks work, and I'll show you a picture of my lucky socks. And I studied for about... I want to say a week and a half after and took my exam and they didn't lie. It was hard. And when I say by the grace of God, you guys, 75% is what I passed with. So um, don't have to take that test again. Thank you. Um, and actually, so due to 2020's pandemic, coronavirus, um, most of the schooling is online now and I actually did my eight hour Florida's required continuing education online through Learn Mortgage. Um, I know that sounds funny, but it was by, it was from, it's exactly what it is. It was taught by the Association of Mortgage Educators and it was a hundred bucks. And honestly, it felt like when I was, in the course, it was a self-paced course, so it wasn't a virtual instructor. So if you're able to have a virtual instructor for your education, I highly suggest that because the textbooks rules that you have to know every year and up to keep up to date with are not the easiest, you know, to remember kind of on your own. So it's nice to have an instructor reinforcing and you know guiding you along the process. But so it was eight hours and it honestly felt like a hundred hours. I mean, I know that it might be dramatic, but I don't want to do a self-paced continuing education for my mortgage work ever again. I need an instructor, you know, and I would I prefer an instructor. 